Today I fucked up when I convinced my parents to do an intervention. Throwaway account. What I'm about to share happened more than a month ago and at the time there was nothing funny about it. Now it cracks me up and makes me cringe whenever I think about it. I, 18 male, still live with my parents and Christianity plays a big role in my family. I'm not sure if I believe what they believe, but one thing was certain, my brother, 25, believed there was only one God. Drugs. At some point in his life, getting high was no longer about having fun, it was about feeding an addiction. When he started stealing from my family to support his drug habit, that's when my dad called the cops and had him arrested. My dad's plan was not to send my brother to prison, he was just buying time to come up with another solution. He called a family meeting and we brainstormed. Besides praying and hoping that a higher power magically makes my brother stop using drugs, rehab was the next best thing. My dad wanted to literally drag my brother to the nearest rehab center and force him to check in. I suggested that we try an intervention just like the ones on TV where the loved ones confronted the drug addict with letters they wrote to show how much they care and hopefully inspire the addict to seek professional help. My family agreed to do the intervention based on my passionate pitch. We wrote our letters and waited until my brother got released from jail the following day. When my brother entered the house, the living room was occupied by family members, church members, a few of my brother's friends, and one of his ex-girlfriends. I never expected my parents to basically invite the whole town, but there they all were. My mom explained to my brother what was happening before volunteering to be the first person to read a letter. My brother was not about that life. He told my mom to stop reading and allow him to go upstairs or he was gonna get upset and say some shit he can't take back. My mom kept reading, which prompted my brother to roast the shit out of all of us. He made fun of my mom for being addicted to Botox and always running on the treadmill with her arms straight down. He asked my dad what God thinks about him paying for porn. He accused me of sucking another guy's dick and literally pointed to the person who owned that dick, he was right. He advised my uncle to lose 200 pounds before trying to save anyone else's life. He said his ex-girlfriend's belly button looked like a butthole, which was the real reason he broke up with her. It went on and on until an argument broke out between my brother and everyone else. If my brother was not the tallest person in the room, my guess is someone would have punched him in the face long ago. Luckily it didn't go that far. My brother eventually went upstairs and didn't come down until there was no one left but my parents and I it was awkward between all of us. My dad and I were unable to look at each other for the rest of that week and what made it even worse was the fact that neither us denied what my brother said about us. It was never mentioned again. Since then, my brother agreed to go for rehab. He's been clean for 22 days and it seems like he's doing better. My mom stopped using the treadmill and is now running in the park early in the mornings when none of us are awake to see if she's actually moving her arms or not. It's still unclear if my dad watches porn, let alone pays for it. I'm dating a girl and she knows I've sucked a dick. I can't provide updates for the rest of the people my brother insulted. I think they're all done with the drama in my family because I don't see much of them anymore lol. TLR I convinced my parents to have an intervention for my drug addicted brother. The intervention went sideways when my brother got angry and roasted everyone. LMAO he broke up with her because her belly button looked like a butthole? XD. The thing that's going to stick with me for the rest of my life is imagining your mom running around a dark park early in the morning with her arms straight down by her sides tears of joy 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 tears of joy. Shit man your brother is savage. Nice that he agreed to go to rehab though. Addiction is no joke and I wish all the best for your brother and your family, but holy shit that was hilarious. You don't want to do this. I'll say some things you don't like. Well. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. I mean, he went to rehab so the intervention did work? Tears of joy. This is probably the nicest thing I have read all day. Thank you for sharing and I hope your bro is okay. Today I fucked up by offering to look for a unicorn. So today, August 23rd, is my third anniversary with my husband. In our past, we have had few three sums, and my husband has been itching for another one. Not me though. I'm fine with just the two of us. Knowing what he wants though, I offered to try to find another woman to join us. Inside, I'm kind of falling apart. I want to make him happy, but looking for another woman on your anniversary just doesn't hit the right way why no? Now it's almost like the day is a bust because I haven't found anyone to join us yet. 
I am sure a lot of people might think, well you did it a few times before, so I don't see why you're upset now, and I get it, I do. For some reason I'm more afraid of losing my partner now than before. I also get very insecure and can get jealous. All of which I've let my husband know about. Unfortunately for me, my husband will never not want a three-way. So I dk what to do. Too long did not read. Anniversary is today and now I am looking for another woman to join us. Feeling like shit. Instead of enjoying the day for what it initially is. Then don't do it and tell him. Edit. Here I am wondering. Why would you promise another rational being that you'd find a unicorn? If you can't have this conversation with him then y'all have no business bringing extras to bed anyway. You need to really talk to your husband about this. You can't keep going on like this. Loads of people want a three-way and never get one. You're in a couple, not a single. If it doesn't work for the both of you, it can't really continue in a healthy way. Why are you telling us? Tell him. You need to tell him. Don't do anything you aren't 100% happy and comfortable with. Stop looking for another woman to join you and make your stand. If your husband loves you he will understand and stop asking. If he wants a three-way more then he isn't worth this and you deserve better. You have reached a turning point and this is now down to him. But you have to be totally honest with him. Line up another guy. 